This year's Woman of the Year is Tasha Blackman. Thank you so much. First, I'd like to thank God and give honor to God, who is my redeemer, um, who is my protector. Uh, even as we navigate through these challenging times, I'm intentional about maintaining a posture of gratitude. So just know that I am thankful. I would like to thank my nominators and the selection committee for seeing something in me that resembled brilliance to them. Uh, you are all powerhouses in your own right, and I look up to each and every one of you. I'd also like to honor my fellow nominees, both Georgia and Miranda. I actually grew up uh, on Miranda, so thank you for, for what you all do and for the value that you add uh, to our community. We appreciate you. Round of applause for you all. Awesome. I want to thank my family. Um, I want to thank my supportive, uh, never complaining husband for allowing me to do what I do, as well as our children. Um, I'd like to thank my parents who raised me well, um, as well as my extended family and friends uh, for their love and support. I um, mean, finally, I would like to offer my deepest and most heartfelt thanks to the Cherry Health team. Uh, they day in, day out, provide care to those that are underserved. They do it without complaining. They give above and beyond what I think any employee should be expected to do, and they do it with heart. So I just want you all to know how much I love and appreciate each one of you. It's imperative in times like these that we remain resilient and we choose to shine bright and spread hope. Hope begins with a vision. It's a vision for a better future for our children. Then that hope must manifest itself into a willingness to change. Changing so that innocent lives lost, like our native daughter, Brianna Taylor, won't be in vain. I feel this community is embracing change and shifting. I have an abiding hope that my beloved hometown is becoming a place where every life is valued. What I know for sure, and what I've actually seen during COVID, is that when we work together as a unified committee and community, we harness the power to light up the dark places. I'm humbled and honored to have accepted this award and I'm just surprised. Um, in closing, I just would like to leave you with something to ponder. Ask yourself, how, how am I using my unique skills and gifts to make my community a better place to live? Thanks again for this honor. <laughs>